Hey, how's it going everybody? As you might have already seen in the beginning of this video, today we are doing some quick and easy but still so pleasing to watch masking transitions within Resolve's color page. And yes, you heard me right, the color page, not the fusion page. Now, you can do this effect in the fusion page as well, but that is a whole lot more complicated. But for now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Sebastian and I create weekly videos on DaVinci Resolve to ultimately get you a better understanding of how Resolve works. So if you are interested in that topic, please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future. But now, with that being said, let's just jump right into Resolve. <laughs> So guys, if you know Sam Calder, Ben TK or JR Ali, those guys are known for their masking transitions and the one that we're recreating today is so simple yet so powerful and pleasing to watch that this will ultimately increase the production quality of your videos. But for now, as always guys, drag your footage onto your timeline. The first clip for me is a clip of my backyard, panning the camera to the right. And then there comes this bar into frame, like so. And this is where I want the transition to happen to the next clip from some guys riding a car through the desert. But as you see, this clip is moving from left to right, and this clip is moving from right to left. So this doesn't work. And because there is a car driving in this clip, we can't reverse the clip because this would just look unnatural. So in order to fix this problem, click on the clip, go to the inspector, which is in the top right corner, and then go under transform and then just flip this. Once you've done that, the clip is moving from left to right as well. So first problem solved. Now the second problem is because I did not use a gimbal for this shot, it is pretty unstable. So the first thing that we should do is to stabilize our footage. So I recommend every time when you shoot something, stabilize the footage, whether you're using a gimbal, a tripod or the stabilizing in post in Resolve. So to fix this unstable shot, click on the clip, go to the inspector in the top right corner and scroll all the way down to where it says stabilization. And then you can uncheck zoom, dropping ratio, lower this just a bit, smoothness, bump this up and strength leave it at 1.0 and then just click stabilize so once this has finished stabilizing you will notice a black bar on the right side and a small black bar on the top of my clip so in order to fix that scroll all the way up in inspector to where it says transform and then go to zoom and then just zoom in ever so slightly until the black bars are covered and when we play this back, this should be perfectly smooth, no problems at all. So now once everything is set up for the transition to happen, click on the first clip and drag it on the second video layer. Then move your playhead to the position where the bar comes into frame and then move into the color page. So now once we are in the color page, the first step that we want to do go to the notes section if you don't see this it is in the top right corner to where it says notes and then just click it now right click somewhere in the free space and add an alpha output and now go to the first note and connect this blue rectangle to the alpha output now the next step is let's just create a power window so you go to your power window section and choose this polyline and then just create a shape. Now you should turn on this magic wand so everything is grayed out. And to fix this problem, just go back to your power window and invert the selection. So now you should be able to see your clip once again. Now we gotta increase the softness to make the transition look good. Now go to softness, go to soft one and bump this up between two to four you have to play around it's different for every clip now go down to where it says inside and outside and bump up the outside to around 1.5 once we've done that we should open up our e-frame section which is 
to the left of our scopes. So just click this keyframe button. And now keyframe the character one and the sizing by clicking on this rectangle. And now once this is turned red, it means that we started keyframing. Now you should use your arrow keys to move frame by frame forward. So I just move one frame forward and then I have to drag my power window to something right there. So my power window is matching this bar. Now move one frame forward once again. Just redo this process until your bar or whatever it is that is covering your frame is completely out of frame. So let me just speed this up to not waste your time. So now once you've finished masking, in the bottom right corner you see the keyframe section and there should be a whole bunch of keyframes right now. So now once we've done that we're pretty much finished. Let's hop back to the edit page and move your playhead to the position where the transition starts. So for me it's right there and click on the first clip and hit M on your keyboard to create a marker. And now just take the second video clip and put it below this marker. So now once we play it back, this transition should look perfectly fine. But guys, one quick reminder, whenever you're doing a masking transition or masking effects, please take time to perfectly create the mask so that the transition or the effect just looks best. So now we can add one more thing and that is a speed ramp to the transition. So just click on the first clip, hit Ctrl and R on the keyboard to open up the retime controls and then open up the retime curve. Now once this is opened up, make sure to go to where it says retime frame, open the drop down and check retime speed and uncheck retime frame. Now move forward to where the transition is starting. So right around there and then click on this retime speed line and create a speed point. Now move forward a few frames to where the transition ends and create another speed point. And now take the line in between those two speed points and just drag it up to increase the speed. Now click on both of those keyframes and smoothen them out just like that. And then smoothen the other one out as well. Probably around there should be fine. So now once we watch this back, this should just look even better. If you don't like the speed ramp, you can always go back and reset this to 100% speed. And that is everything that you need to know when creating a masking or frame block transition. So guys, that is all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please consider leaving a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future. And if you want to watch another video, I got a whole playlist. I will link it up here on DaVinci Resolve, so I highly recommend you should check that out. But with that being said, hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!